Just after 11.30, though, the second race in the European Le Mans series for this season got underway with a huge mass of LMP2s trying to get safely through the Verary S for the first time of asking. Several taking to the escape route, and sadly for Henrik Hedman, it results in a, an early spin after he had contact with the car alongside him. Alexandre Quani for Cool Racing. The sister car at Cool Racing, though, scampered away into the lead in the hands of 18-year-old Vlad Lomko. He was Chased down by Kiffin Simpson, our eventual race winner, along with the other two drivers in this 25 car from Algar Pro Racing. So they were left out front as Vlad pitted and uh, headed down into the uh, first corner once again. This a horrible moment for Proton competition as Ryan Hardwick went for a pass on Michael Fassbender. Fassbender showed his thoughts with the gesticulation. And then, if that wasn't enough for the Irish uh, German Hollywood film star, there was contact from the 50 Formula Racing Ferrari, which would bring out a safety car because the amount of debris left on the road surface, the Ferrari and Porsche actually making contact on two separate occasions. We would go back to racing, but obviously with the whole of the field massively condensed and the early running for people like Alex Lynn, who was leading by something like six or seven seconds before the safety car, would all have to be done again. 28 EDEC Sport Car, with uh, some talented drivers throughout, including Laurence Hoare doing the middle two stints. A pit stop for Duquesne as well. But then EDEC were hit by a tyre going down and they would have to replace the front left, which was certainly not part of their plan. And then clearly there was some concern from TF Sport about whether their tyre would quite do the distance. A word of advice from Alex Lynn from the pit wall to new driver James Allen. And James then reeling in Swiss driver Louis Delatraz. This was a classic European Le Mans series moment with door mirror to door mirror, LMP2 cars. Delatraz not trying to give up that uh, first place position in any which way, but eventually he had no answer to the pace of Australian driver James Allen. And here was James exiting the final corner with the lights flashing to take victory ahead of Neil Jarney for Duquesne team and finishing third in the end, racing Team Turkey with Louis Delatraz. The win in LMP3 would go the way of Antoine Ducat and racing spirit of Le Mans, the number 31 car that he shares with Jack Wolf and Jean Ludovic Foubert after an intense fight throughout in LMP3. WTM by Rinaldi and Cool Racing completing the podium there. That's what it meant to the Swiss squad from Lake Geneva or just south of there. And the 77 Proton competition, Porsche of Christian Reed who started uh, Jean-Marco Liberato and Julian Anlauer flashing his lights across the line to take the victory. Much discussion down at TF Sport as well. But uh, the podiums are settled and a great victory for Algarve Pro, for Racing Team Turkey, for Racing Spirit of Le Mans and for Proton competition. 126 laps completed then for the trio in car 25, Simpson, Allen and Lynn, and they win by a second over the Duquesne team car that was being driven in the closing stages by Neil Jarney. A win in LMP2 Pro-Am for Louis Delatraz from Cool Racing's Malta Jakobsen and the AF Corsa car of Ben Barnicot, number 83. And in LMP3, it's Racing Spirit of Le Mans, WTM, Wolkenspiegel team Monchat, that is, in Cool Racing, LMGTE is won by Proton Competition from Iron Lynx and the Kessel Racing 57 car with Scott Huffaker in in the closing stages. Yeah, and that uh, last couple of penalties for the 16 car drops them 